All right, what is going on guys? So I'm very excited to bring you this video on the newest champion coming into the game, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. So she's Mystic and her prestige is really good. So the prestige here, let me bring it up here. So it's 10,620, that's some pretty solid prestige. Um, she's a really, really interesting character. Now, we got a disclaimer here, man. This is uh, this for old well, couple. First one here is this content creator program video. So th this champion's gonna be removed from my account uh, like tomorrow, I think it is. Like we only have a day to uh, to play around with her because her arena's on Thursday when she comes out. Uh, so yeah, I'm not. I don't get to keep the champion anything like that. Uh, the other disclaimer is that so she's at rank three. So this is about the equivalent of a four star champion, and the damage. It's not, not, it's not, not, it's not insane. This, this isn't a Corvus or Ghost type champion. That's not what she's meant to do. She's not meant to have the most insane damage output in the game. She has a lot of utility. So that's what we're going to be going over today. Uh, so yeah, she also has some, some, some immunities. So basically how the immunities work, she's immune to bleed, incinerate, and poison, but only one at a time. Uh, but you can select when that time is. So you start with bleed immunity. And basically how you switch is you throw a combo uh, of light attack. So you start the combo with medium, go light, 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 and then you switch. So it goes bleed, poison, incinerate. So you switch in that order. So depending on the matchup, you know, you switch to what you need. So if you're fighting, uh, let's say a morning star, you know, you're going to want to keep the bleed on so that you're immune to bleed. If you're fighting an abomination, you're going to want to stay uh, in the curse of plague, be immune to his poison, right? Now, each time you switch to one of these immunities, you go kind of go into that, it's called a curse. So you go into that curse, and when you're in the, that curse, you, you actually apply that debuff that you're immune to. So the first curse is curse of blood, obviously, so bleed. Uh, so you're immune to bleed, and you also put bleed on the opponent. But as you can see right here, the debuff damage is very small, 63 damage, uh, direct damage that's like seven a tick like this is like not a big damage on the debuff right but it's not meant to be what you actually want is to fight immunity characters and use um the curse that they're actually immune to so let's say for example uh you're fighting captain marvel she's poison immune you're going to want to try to apply poisons to her because every time that you you do that and she's immune to it you basically gain gain you gain what's called a uh, clairvoyance charge so each time you gain one of these charges you gain a burst of power four percent uh, of her max power and uh yeah these stack up to 20 you also use them to nullify the opponent's buffs uh so you know if you're reversing let's say a hyperion that power gain buff you can nullify that with using one of these charges which is really nice uh and yeah basically if you once you use the l3 you gain a damage increase for each one of these charges. Uh, it's 300 per charge. So for 20 charges, it's like, what, like 6,000 plus attack, something like that. So you can get off some, some decent damage that way. So that's pretty much, so fighting immunity characters is actually what you want because getting uh, that power gain is really, really nice as well, uh, as well as uh, building up the clairvoyance charges. And also anytime you're immune, uh, you also gain one of the clairvoyance charges. So this champion is extremely good with the suicide masteries. Basically, at the start of the fight, you start with three of the clairvoyance charges. If you're running suicides, you purify the bleed debuff. So you start with a fourth clairvoyance charge, throw one combo of lights, you switch to the poison immunity, uh, curse of plague, you purify the poison debuff, uh, and you get another charge. And so yeah, anytime the opponent uh, or yourself purifies a pre-existing debuff, you also gain a charge. So let's say, for example, you're fighting a Red Hulk. If you are applying incinerates or poison to him and he's shrugging those off, you're still going to get the charge, still going to count. So I like that. Uh, so basically, that's the breakdown. of her. That's how you kind of want to play her. So we're going to go show some gameplay against Captain Marvel in Realm of Legends and just talk about it while, uh, while we're fighting with her. A couple other things to go over. The signature ability here. You know, this, this is not as good as I was hoping it would be. Uh, it's death immunity, and you get death touch, which sounds like so sick, but it, it's 
I haven't even really found a use for this yet. Basically, when receiving damage that would knock her out, death touch is removed. Instead, and Claire gains a death immunity buff, preventing health and healing 25% of her max health over 4 seconds. Now, that sounds good when you to have that, right? But the only way to get death touch is after using an L3. And in some matchups, you don't want to be using an L3. You want to be using the L2, because the L2 is clairvoyance. Her, her best the best trick in her arsenal the best trick in her i was gonna say hat like cause I'm a magician i don't know uh the best thing she has up her sleeve though because each uh e under each curse it does something different and when i first heard this i was also hoping that uh the l3 would kind of activate all of the curses kind of like how symbiote supreme you can activate all of his phases but unfortunately that's not the case uh so that's a little unfortunate uh but basically you pick what you need for the fight so you know if you're trying to regen up you want to be in the curse of blood when you drop this l2 you heal 35 percent of damage dealt which is actually insane dude she has one of the best regens in the game honestly the, the regen on this character is insane absolutely insane uh if you need to control power you go with the curse of plague steal five percent of the opponent's current power uh, so, you know, people are comparing her to magic, and yeah, but uh, her, her power control is definitely not quite as good as magic because it's still, I wish it was still 5% of max power, but it's current power. So it's better to push your opponent to like an L2 and then drop your L2 because you're going to steal more power, uh, and then you're going to be able to get off another special too pretty quick. But yeah, magic's power control is a bit better. Um, I'd say it's more reliable. And then Curse of Hellfire, deal a burst of direct damage, which, eh. So, yeah, basically that's their abilities now. We'll go we'll go show some gameplay and really break down as we're, as we're doing stuff. So. Alright, what's going on, guys? So we're back now with some gameplay. So, we're going to be using Clairvoyant here against this Captain Marvel. And like I said before, if you're looking for the next Ghost, the next Corvus type of damage dealer, this is not the champion for you, man. It's really not. She's all about the utility, power control, and regen. She's a sustainable power controller. Who also has some cool immunities uh, and some nullify abilities. That's what she is, man. She's a Misty Champ. What would you expect? Do you expect her to hit like Corvus? No. That's just no. Uh, the a really cool thing is actually her base stats. She has the highest. I believe it's the highest base attack in the game. It's higher than Wasps. Uh, her critical dam. Uh, her crit rate is like 26%. So that's pretty good, man. It's a pretty solid crit rate. Um, her animations look pretty cool. That's another plus. But yeah, her base stats are just pretty solid man especially that base attack so right here we're gonna drop this l3 it's a pretty cool l3 what i like to think at the end here is she like taps them it's like whoop got your nose that's i don't know why i just think that every time she uses it, it looks pretty funny um yeah that l3 did 23,000 damage it's, it's decent uh keep in mind that this is a rank 3 five star champion so this is the about the equivalent of a four star uh, so yeah, I'm mean, really interested, just interested to see the damage about of uh, like a 565 clairvoyant. That's what I, that's what I want to see. Uh, and the other cool thing about the L2 is actually you apply a buff immunity on the opponent. I'm pretty sure that's, I think that's a new debuff. Basically, they can't get gain any buffs while they have that. So against like Hyperion, once you use that, he can't gain his power gain, which is pretty cool actually. Uh, I think that's interesting. But as you can see in this fight, our power gain is ridiculous because every time we, we're gaining one of those clairvoyant charges, we gain 4% of our uh, max power. And using heavy attacks actually applies, it tries to apply three debuffs to the opponent, so we're gaining three clairvoyant charges. So three times four is 12, so we're getting 12% of our max power for a heavy attack. So as you can see, the power gain is just ridiculous when you're fighting a character uh, that has one of the uh, immunities that you can utilize and our power is shooting up so if we needed to power control this fight you know it wouldn't be too bad here we get off our l2s uh and then we're also stealing her power uh not only are we take are we taking away her power but we're, we're getting some of that power uh so yeah we just keep getting that power gain keep launching specials uh, drop that heavy attack look how much Look how much of a burst of power that gave us. It's, it's really crazy. Uh, really just keeping that power on lock. It's uh, it's really good. And she's definitely a suicide friendly champion. But I'd say she's more suicide dependent. You you really want to be running the suicide masters with her. Or her attack is really going to feel low. Um, 
it's already not not the best. It, it, I don't think it's that bad. But uh, if you're not running suicides, yeah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't run it with those suicides. I, I really like running suicide masters, anyways, though. So that's not a problem for me. But as you can see, we've been taking some damage from recoil. So now I'm gonna switch uh, my phases right there. Now we're in Curse of Blood. We're gonna drop this L2 and just watch my watch my health. All right, watch how much health uh, we're gonna steal once we use that L2. I'm just gonna drop this L3 first because we're at 20 clairvoyant charges. So I'm gonna drop this, and then once uh, I'm not capped on clairvoyant charges, I can heavy attack again and then keep gaining, uh, get, getting that power gain. Uh, once you're at 20, you can't gain anymore, so you can't get any more power gain through applying the debuffs. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. But we're in the the bleed phase right now. So I'm gonna switch back again. I kind of messed it up. I'm gonna switch back and then gain some power. And then I'm going to go for uh, the L2 to try to get some regen off, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we go, get some power gain. And come on, buddy, let's show the healing. What am I doing? Guys, like, this, the regen's awesome. I, I don't know what I'm, I guess I was waiting a little bit, taking a little bit more damage. I just wanted to show you guys that when I'm at a little bit of a lower uh, health pool. All right, now we're switching. Here we go, here we go. It's coming, guys, it's coming. So switch, Curse of Bleed, watch this L2, man. Boom! 97%. We went from about 40% to almost 100%. And then we took a little bit of recoil damage. But from 40% to 90%. 1 L2. The regen on that is absolutely ridiculous, man. Just such good regen, guys. And it's it's 35% of damage dealt. So as you rank her up, as she gets a higher health pool, her her uh, attack is also going to go up. So she's, she's like a 565 is still going to be able to recover health like that, and it's it's going to be even more health, dude. It, it's going to be insane, man. Just that regen is nuts, man. The power control of regen, I I really like it. I really like it. Uh, she is a bit lacking in the damage department, but her she has the highest uh, base attack in the game like i said that's it's, pretty, it's higher than wasp so i'm pretty sure it's the highest because i thought i'm pretty sure wasp was the highest before uh but yeah man just some crazy stuff again this is a, a rank three five star about the equivalent of a four star so man i like her i i really do like her apply that buff immunity it's a cool thing and I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be going for that's the L1. The L1 looks pretty cool, but uh, I don't think it's that practical to use. Pretty cool uh, winning animation, too. Look at that. <laughs> that looks sick. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's there we go. That's, that's the gameplay. That's going to do it for this video uh, on Clairvoyant, the first one. I'm going to be uploading another video. We're going to be jumping into some Act 6 to really see if she is useful. Like... That's a practice. I'm jumping in 6.2, the some of the hardest content in the game right now as a rank 3 5 star. So see what she can do in there. So if you if you want to see that video, drop a like on this one. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of her. It, does she have bad damage? That's what I've been hearing. Do you like her utility? That regen? What do you think of that? That regen, man. That's that's my favorite thing about her, definitely, is that regen. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If so, subscribe if you like to see more content. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.